everyone, um, my name is Audrey. My name is Sana. My name is Sophia. And in this video, we are going to be ranking three hot chocolate places on the high street. Um, and we have a couple different categories that we are going to be rating them. We'll be rating them one out of ten in three different categories. Um, and the three categories are price, <laughs> originality, and taste. Yeah. So we'll yeah. be going to um, notes first, then uh, Gales, and then right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to be trying the Notes Hot Chocolates. Um, and we are very excited. We know that Notes is a place that a lot of students come like during off campus and after school. So, yes, we're going to be trying it. Very excited. So now we're going to be rating it on price, taste, and original price. So first you're all going to be rating it on taste. I think that the taste was a 9 out of 10. Um, I agree. I was like in between like 8.5 and 9 out of 10. It was really good. I would say an 8. I, I didn't like how, um, they, like I like it a little more sweet, but it was really good. Um, for originality, I think I'll rate it like a 5. It wasn't that original, but it was nice to have like the foam. Yeah, I mean, I agree. Like for originality, like it was just kind of a basic like hot chocolate, but I don't think that made it worse. Like I think I still really liked it. So like maybe like a five, yeah. I would say honestly like a six. Like I like foam on the top. It was like a bit different, and the fact that it was it was like a different um, like part on the top than the bottom. The bottom was more like condensed like, chocolate. And the presentation was really good. So maybe yeah. I'll leave it up to a six as well. Yeah. The presentation was very good. And then for yeah. price, yeah. so was it price? Um, so the um, price is three sixty. Yeah. So I think I think I'll rate it an eight. I think it's a pretty good price. I agree. I would do more like a seven <laughs> because like I just think it was really good, but I feel like three sixty is maybe like it's it's it was pretty small. Like it wasn't super like big. Like we finished it quickly. I mean. So I feel like maybe more like a seven for the price. Yeah. yeah. Overall, it was really good. Overall, we liked it. Yeah, so I can go first. So the first thing we're going to be rating it on is um, taste. So for taste, I feel like I'm going to give it like maybe like a 6 or a 7 out of 10. Like it really was not my favorite. Um, it didn't have a very strong chocolate flavor, so I feel like a, like a 6 and a half. Taste wise, um, 6 or even like a 5. Like it was like pretty average. Kind of watered down with my liking. I think the notes were better. I mean, yeah, I mean, wow. Really not it's not really good. It's not really good at all. It's really watered down. Like, it's really good. Um, what about price? So, how much price is it? It was 370. Which is like a similar price to notes, but like I think personally, just because I did not enjoy it as much, I feel like I would rate that. Like, I feel like it should have been cheaper. So maybe like a six on price. Or like a five. Like I said, just, I think. it was literally like 10 pence off, but even so, like, I, I didn't like it as much, so I'd give it like a, a 5. I'll give it a 5, but it's like, it's not the same price as the price. It's like, really good. Originality. I mean, I would like, it really was not original. It didn't have like notes, even though it was just regular hot chocolate. It had like kind of decorative elements on the top, and this did not have any of that. So I would say like, uh, like a like a pour. It made this one look more like a latte or something, um, but it's not really original, so I would also say like a pour. Yeah, a pour. Yeah. I think it's not original. I really like the pour So it's not that great. Overall, overall rating. Yeah. Um, I would give it like a five. I would give it a four. I would give it a four. How much was it? Um, this one was three thirty. Yeah. So this was the cheapest out of all of the ones we've yeah. so far. Wait, I'm gonna look. Yes. There's a lot of foam, which is nice. Yeah, there's a lot of foam. It doesn't really have any of the like decorations on top that like notes had, and even Gail's had a little bit. So it looks like the cream is a little more like like that's the cream, and then like, the chocolate part's more like. Uh, you want to taste it now? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah, this one definitely tastes different than the other one. It's like, it's stronger. The chocolate definitely tastes like richer. Yeah, it's really much stronger. Yeah. Um, I really like it, actually. Yeah. I think it's good. 
Okay, so now I'm going to be rating it on the price, taste, and originality. For price, it was three thirty five, which is the cheapest we've done, and I actually really liked it. So I feel like the price is pretty good. Um, like I feel like I would give it like eight on price. Like I think it was, I think it was reasonable. Yeah, I agree. Eight on price is good. Like I like the taste, and it's a good, it's a good price. Yeah, I mean for price, I think it was definitely better than Gail's price. Gail's was just really bad, so I think. For price, I'll give it like a 7.8. Okay. Um, for taste, I, this was honestly, this was one of my favorites. I liked it a lot better than I liked Gail's. So I would give this one like a 7 or an 8 because it had a really strong chocolate flavor and I just, I really like it. Yeah, me too, honestly. Like, I think it's like one of the best ones. I think honestly 8 or 9, like, it's a really good, strong, like, chocolate flavor and like, I want that when I'm like buying the hot chocolate, so. Yeah. For me, I really do not like it. It's not that like it wasn't sweet enough, it was really sweet, but it just had a really good taste. Like almost like it didn't really taste like chocolate, I just I really didn't like it. Like honestly, I think I like the girls more than this. What would you rate? Like a four. I'm just I didn't like this. On originality. So this one did not really have any special elements. Like they all all of these were just regular hot chocolate. None of them had any special flavors or anything. Um, but this one just didn't have any of the decoration like on top. It isn't a Christmas cup. So I, like, I kinda like that. So like I, I feel like that's something. Um I would rate it like a like a five on originality. I agree. Like it's just like kind of average. Um, it's not too. You know, um, I'm surprised that none of them had like more green. Now that I'm thinking about it, like yeah. I thought they that was something. Foam. Yeah, um, like this one had like a ton of foam, which is yeah. kind of um, on originality. I don't think it's original. I mean, all of them had foam. It's not very good. I just made it like a four. So, like overall, I think I would give it. Um, I think I would give it a seven. Like I like it was pretty good. Like definitely lower than notes, but better than you. So yeah. yeah. Overall, honestly, like an eight. Like I think it's really good. Um, overall, I think this is probably the worst one for me out of all three. So I rate it like a four or a five. Okay, so um, these are our final opinions on the three different hot chocolate places that we tried. So we went to Notes, then Gales, then Pret. And um, for taste, I think we would definitely say that Notes was our favorite one. Probably Pret, and then none of us really liked Gales that much, so we would put that one last. For originality, I think Notes was the most original overall, and then Pret, and then Gales. I think the order kind of does the same for price because I mean, um, with notes, you're really, I think, what we think, um, you're getting the best, like, taste for your money, so then, um, because they were all really similar in price, and then, um, Pret and then Gales. Yeah. Yeah. So those are our final rankings. Thanks for watching! Thanks for watching!